Hey guys, Seki Pictures here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. In the last episode, we defeated Lieutenant Surge at the Vermilion City Gym. And in this episode, we're going to Diglett's Cave. So, this isn't technically required stuff, but it helps you for a good portion of the journey. Well, did you know this huge long tunnel was entirely built, dug by Diglett? So, um, this stuff is not technically required, but it will help immensely throughout the journey. And in Diglett's cave here, where are they? There they are. We can encounter Diglett. So, Diglett is, when I think of fast, Diglett is what I think of with the first generation. It's got incredible speed for what it is, and it's got pretty good attack as well. It's actually one of the better ground types that, if you want speed, you'll get it here. So, um, Diglett is all... Also, oh, whoa. It's also a really good Pokemon for, um, for getting, um, oh, geez. it's a, long story short, Diglett's a very good Pokemon, and if you want a speedy ground type Pokemon, you'll get that here. Oh, wow, even with a Raspberry, you didn't catch it. Um, it evolves at level 26 into what we're seeing right now, Dugtrio. Dugtrio, you wouldn't think it's fast just by looking at it, but it is incredibly fast. Actually, I think it's one of the fastest Pokemon in the entire Kanto Pokedex. In the Kanto Pokedex, I think it's only second to... It, the only ones that actually um, outspeed it are Electrode and um, Aerodactyl. Which, hey, we're going to be seeing another one of those today. Come on. There we go. The trio was caught. Nice. That gives a lot of experience, too. Nice. Uh, and he, we get to see the Pokedex entry of it. I did not expect to run into a Doug Trio that quickly, because Doug Trio are pretty rare in this cave. And if you want a um, just a tip, if you want an easy time with a Vermilion City Gym, just go here, catch a Diglett, and. You'll be fine at the gym. So, because he uses primarily electric attacks. Diglett's a ground type, he's immune to it. Nice, Scrawlith grew to level 23. Good. <clears throat> nice. Alright. Let's just keep on going through Diglett's cave. And you see it's a very linear path. Uh, the only Pokemon in here are Zubat, Diglett, and Ducturio. So that's the end of the path. I heard that there's a tunnel even darker inside than this one somewhere. Somewhere out there. Well, we're going to fix that problem. Uh, once we come across it. Because right here... And we're back at Route 2. We're back at the Pewter City Gym. Pewter City, Vermidi Viridian City side. Remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no. It's a little too bright out here. Inside. I'll be waiting for you inside to show you whenever you're ready, Psychic. Remember that chop-down technique that we found? That we 
the person on the SSN did, gave to us. So you came. Then let's get down to brass tacks. Tax. I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I have mastered the secret technique. Light up. Now, let me turn off the lights and... There, there, nice and dark. Now, if you calm your heart, breathe deeply, you will be able to sense your surroundings no matter how dark it is. See? It seems bright even when the light's off. My keen focus spreads to those around me, you see. Here, I can teach you how to do it, too. Pikachu! Huh? It seems Pikachu wants to learn it instead, Psychic. What? And you say it already knows the secret technique chopped down? I see. Professor Oak had mentioned it, but it does seem that your Pikachu is special. Fascinating. Let me try to, t try to teach it. Here, let me turn off the lights again. Now, Pikachu, follow what I do. Calm your heart, breathe deeply, and sense your surroundings! Learn light up. Pikachu learned to light up. This is just like chop, chop down with um, the secret techniques. You don't need a slot in your move set in order to do it. Thank goodness. Now use the secret technique to your heart's content. Since they're not moves. Oh, he's just telling what I was doing. What I was just saying. Since they're not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy to battle. Nice. You can get through Rock Tunnel if you use the secret technique Light Up. Do you know where Rock Tunnel is? You'll find it at the t if you head east from Cerulean City. That's where we're going to next. Well, not in this episode, probably, but in the next episode, maybe. Oh, Psychic! How did you get here? Did you learn how to use the secret... Use Light Up from the Professor Oak's assistant, too? What? You didn't learn it, but Pikachu did? That partner of yours really is amazing, Psychic. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? Nah, I'm fine by myself. Really? Well, okay. You sure you'll be alright? Actually, yeah, I want to go alone. Okay. Just in case, though, let me give you directions. Head east from Cerulean City, you'll reach Rock Tunnel. It's supposed to be pitch dark in there. Be careful! Thank you for leaving me alone, because I still have stuff I need to do here. Chop down! Yeah! Boom! Oh, right. If I'm recalling correctly, I actually still need to have Pokemon out. Take out a Pokeball. Let's do Mr. Mime for some reason. Whee! Alright, what's in here? Hi. CP stands for combat power. Whoa, combat! Hi. People who use the secret techniques are so cool, aren't they? Can you use them? No, I can't, but my Pikachu can. Which is all that matters. Ooh, Pokeball. Leaf Stone! Not one of the stones I need. Power up pocket. What? And then this one is a super potion. I don't need that either. For now. Is there something else down here? No. Chop down the tree, Pikachu. Please. Now, since we're over here, might as well go and show you guys what I can do with Chop Down. I think this is the area. I'm not sure. I think this is just the area that you can go around on. Yep, that's just the area that you can go around on. This is the area that you need to use Chop Down on. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Mime. Work those legs and arms. Huh? What? I must have dozed off at the sun. I had this weird dream. A lost spirit became a flame and was floating around. What the heck is going on with the screen? Huh? 
Seems I picked up this TM without realizing it. Okay, yeek, that's creepy. I'd better give it to you. Will-O-Wisp. Oh, that is a fantastic TM that burns your opponent. Okay, I'm looking at who can learn that right away because that is a fantastic move. Will-O-Wisp. Uh, Growlithe can learn it, but that's it. Let's see. We have TM. What can be replaced with Will-O-Wisp? What, how accurate is it? 85% accuracy inflicts the foe with a burn. It only burns. Let's do Helping Hand because I'm not going to be doing double battles in this. I'm not going to be having a second player on, so I don't have any use for... Um, I don't have any use for... Uh, helping Hand. But now that we've got that out of the way... We can go and um, see that that tree is magically back. We can go back to uh, Pewter City and get something from there. So I'm going to go and do that before the episode ends. And we'll end off in Cerulean City where we need to go to next. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. So Pewter City is right up here. There we go. Chop down trees, chopping down trees, chopping down all the trees so that we can have wood. Pewter City! Um Where exactly is it? Okay. I I sorry, I had a brain fart there. I was like, where is it that I need to go to here? Hey, what's that? Oh, come on. Mr. Mine. Found something in the plants. Found a raspberry. Nice. Found a raspberry in the plants. Cool. This is where I need to go to. Seems it can be chopped down. Chop. Now we can go to the back entrance of the museum and see what there is to see. Hi. The secrets of space, the mysteries of Earth. There are so many things we don't about which we know so little. But that should spur us from to start it harder, not throw in the towel. Hi. You can't sneak in the back way. Nice try, kid, but no. Oh, whatever. Do you know what Amber is? Yes. There's a lab somewhere trying to resurrect creatures from Amber, which contains the genetic material of ancient creatures. Yes, we've heard about this Amber. We have two foss we have two fossils of rare prehistoric Pokemon on exhibit. Hi. Shh. Listen. I need to share a secret with someone. I think that chunk of that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be shattering, sci a sh shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I want you to ex get this examined at a Pokemon lab somewhere. Got old amber. Nice. You have anything else? Shh. Get the old amber checked. I don't know if you go and, uh, can go back to him and say, hey, I got the old Amber examined, and he'll actually say something else. I don't know about that, because I've never done that. But, um, let us, I'll meet you guys back at... Oh, there's a poker ball back there. Sneaky people! Sneaky people! There's a poker ball I missed! Oh my goodness! Let's see what it is, because it's secret. It's secret, so it must be good. Three great balls! Nice! Nice! 
Sweetness. So let's go back into Diglett's cave and go to Vermilion. It's going to be a while before we actually get to Cerulean City. So... Since... Oh, come on. Since we've got... Uh, we've got some time in this episode. Why don't we go over what the old amber can be turned into? Because that's what my notes say to do. Even though we can't obtain the Pokemon yet. We can't obtain it until close to the seventh badge. And we're only at three. But oh well, I think we went over uh, Amanita Kabuto when we got the Dome Fossil and the Helix Fossil. When we were able to obtain them, I mean. But, um... Let's go over what the Old Amber can get for you. So, the Old Amber, once you go to... Hi, Misty. Once you get it examined on Cinnabar Island, will turn into Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is a fantastic Pokemon. Very good on both um, attacking fronts and on its attack front. And on top of that, when I think of raw speed, Aerodactyl is your guy. Aerodactyl is so fast. It's probably the fastest Pokemon in the entire game. If, I'm, if it isn't, it's only rivaled by Electrode. And Aerodactyl is one is widely considered to be a great fossil Pokemon. Heck, it's the only fossil Pokemon that got a mega evolution in um, Pokemon X and Y. It's the only one that got a mega evolution there. But um, let's go to the Pokemon Center and here. <clears throat> But Aerodactyl is fantastic in terms of speed and attack, if I'm recalling correctly. I know speed, if I think speed, I think Aerodactyl. And if I think attack, it does do a good portion of attack. But it's probably the fastest Pokemon in the game, rivaled only by Electrode, if I'm recalling correctly. But, um, Aerodactyl is still a fantastic Pokemon. It's really good at what it does. And a lot of people, if I'm recalling correctly, actually use Aerodactyl, even to this day. And if you want to add Aerodactyl to your team, it will be a very reasonable level when you revive it. If I'm recalling correctly, it'll be level 44 when you revive it. So, that's what that one is. It's a really good Pokemon, really good for your team if you have no sixth member by the time, um, by the time you get to the seventh gym. It's a fantastic member. So, with all that said and done, we're here at Cerulean City and over there is a chop down tree. This has been Psyche Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. See you then.